Okay, I have a really good idea for helping uh, blind kids. Uh, they're probably the most uh, really forgotten group of people on earth, kind of. You know, I guess you got to put yourself in their shoes to really understand, but I got a really good idea how to integrate um, audiobooks with uh, HD sound to help uh, blind children. And it has to do with a, a book that I was reading, and the author happens to be blind. And that's how you learned was through books. So there's a, a there's an important need to really get high definition audiobooks to uh, blind children. It'll be really beneficial and it literally, you know, could change their perspective and their their knowledge. You know, because that's how they they think since they're limited by their uh, physical sight. You know, they use their mind's eye or their pineal gland to think or as they hear a book you know it'll really stimulate their mind okay here goes here is the uh, chapter that I'm talking about the internet has given us all the ability to not only review the sales pitch for any travel location but also to see what others who have not been there have to say about this destination I I don't want you to get a good impression or a bad impression of being a millionaire. I want you to instead have an accurate impression of becoming a millionaire before you begin your journey. Books, movies, television, myths, legends have colored our ideas of what it means to be a millionaire. First step on your millionaire mission is to get a clear picture of your destination and what it will take to get there. As a blind person myself, it is embarrassing to admit to you that as you are reading a book I have written, that when I could read with my eyes as you are reading the print on the pages of the book you hold in your hands, I don't know that I ever read an entire book cover to cover. I skimmed through textbooks to get through school, but the idea of sitting down and reading an entire book never occurred to me at that time. After losing my sight, I discovered audiobooks and how to listen to them at high speed more than two decades after losing my sight. I have experienced the life-changing reality of reading on average one book a day for over 20 years. This process has changed my life and has done more to improve my existence as a millionaire in every other way than virtually anything else. Several years ago, I read a number of books about the mountain climbing. I have never climbed a mountain and probably never will. But I find the concept of identifying a mountain and diverse way to climb it very compelling. One of the many books I have read involved two middle-aged businessmen with virtually no mountaineering experiences climbing the tallest peak on each continent within a year. The obstacles they overcame and the hardships they endure made an exciting and heroic book. I remember the account of those businessmen traveling to Antarctica to climb the tallest mountain on that frozen continent after many arduous weeks of travel and preparation they began climbing towards the peak as they were approaching the critical point in their climb a radio message from the base camp ordered them to stop until the surveyor's calculation could determine whether or not they were on the right mountain this is obviously something they would have liked to have known before all the time and effort and energy have been expanded to climb the considerable way up the mountain where they have curiously perched the calculations eventually confirming that they were indeed on the correct mountain but the lessons remain that we should double check our destination as well as our route before we begin the journey so that's pretty awesome like I said that really caught it's, it, it's once in a great while that a book will do that you know with the author's knowledge and wisdom and that's you know a pretty phenomenal story as far as you know being blind and it kind of gives you a whole different perspective on the world. I'm going to train that someone to be...